Good morning, Canada. Welcome to another episode of RCTV. I'm your host, Nick Rack. On this week's episode of RCTV, it's all about planes and boats. We're gonna be heading out to see a fantastic air show out in Kitchener, the Flying Dutchman. Then we're headed out to BC, BC Marine Modelers, really cool boats. But first, Calgary City Stampede Flyers. Here we go. Hi, I'm Doug Pepperdine. I'm from PM Hobbycraft, and we're down here visiting the Stampede City Radio Control Model Club. There's some fantastic models here, so let's have a look. Hi, uh, we're here with Alan Bloor, um, showing us his beautiful Snowbirds uh, CT114 Tutor. Just a gorgeous airplane. You were showing me some of the features on it earlier, and uh, Alan, if you could explain a, a little bit of your art here. <laughs> okay. Well, this is a uh, Composite R 25% scale Tudor. It has a JetCat P160SX in it. It uh, runs fully on kerosene, starts that way, and, and keeps fuel all the time on kerosene as opposed to some of the older models that were on propane. Full lighting package on it and steerable nose gear all things that you would have on a on a on a tricycle type landing gear I'm here with Steve, uh, one of the members of the uh, Stampede City Radio Control Model Club, and uh, he's here to tell us a little bit about his jet. So I have here a Boomerang XL, uh, made by Boomerang, uh, running a high-tech Aurora system in this. Jet Cat Titan, approximately 34 pounds of thrust. We're about 96 inch uh, wingspan, uh, about 98 inches long on this. Full retract system from spring air, air brakes, and uh, we have a SmartFly turbo regulator. Airplane weighs approximately 30 pounds. Uh, very, very stable aircraft. I think Boomerang makes four or five of these airplanes in different sizes. Great, great trainer jet. And, and very fast. It's about 160 miles an hour with this one. Wow. What would it cost to uh, get into something like this with brand new, brand new equipment? To do this brand new, you're looking approximately seven to eight thousand dollars. A little bit different than the 199 dollar uh, Super Cub. Absolutely. <laughs> You uh, need to be committed, obviously. For sure. <laughs> what sort of learning curve is involved in learning um, how to fly jets? It's quite a bit different. For example, with these turbines, there's approximately, this one, there's about a six second uh, spool up time. So for landing and, and uh, go arounds, you gotta be pre-planning, because by the time you think it's time to go around, well, it could be six seconds before you get the power on so again. you can't just punch the throttle no, and go. No, it's not get up and go. Um, I've been flying for, last 20 years. Just recently, last month, I got into turbines and haven't looked back. So were you in diapers when you started flying? Just about. <laughs> I was about five years old when my dad got me into this. Uh, my dad wow. was flying before I was actually born, so I was around this uh, every day of my life prior to uh, starting to fly, so wow. I was uh, uh, more of a natural selection getting into this. Yeah. Okay, so Doug, I really appreciate you guys coming out to Stampede City Radio Control Model Club. Friends. And uh, I appreciate you guys uh, coming out and this spending evening with a, us. This has been a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been out here for a couple of years and yep. the facility is fantastic. How long has Stampede City been uh, We're now in our 37th year from when it first started. We're fortunate and lucky to still have a field. It's a tough thing in Canada, yeah. especially for large planes. This plane is a little bit different, I notice. Big pipe well, sticking out the side. If you look at Simonzini and Turbo Yak, you'll see it on YouTube. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. When it uh, spools up, 
It'll idle at 45,000 RPM, and then my turbine at full power will go to 60, 160,000 RPM. Wow. And it'll actually exhaust forward over a secondary wheel that's geared 22 to 1 down to my prop, and then exhaust. And right here, it's about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It gets pretty hot back here, so once I start, I normally taxi pretty quick. Yeah. Because it uh, does a nice job of shrinking Monaco. That'll shrink Monaco pretty quick. Yeah. Thanks for joining us here at the Stampede City Radio Control Model Club. Uh, we had a wonderful time. Stay tuned for more RCTV.